Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy, B. Back here on the YouTube channel. If you guys have been enjoying the Night in the Woods series, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, or chat in the premiere, and subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. I would greatly appreciate that. But without further ado, guys, let's get started on today's video. So if you guys haven't caught up with this series, I highly suggest you guys do. It's been a little bit wishy-washy in terms of this series and my feelings towards it, but you know, we're not finished it yet, so I can I can only truly judge it until we're, you know, finished. So, you know, that's what we're here for. If you guys haven't watched the um the previous videos, highly suggest you guys watch that. Um right now, we are beginning chapter 3, A Long Fall. This is, you know, we just started it. We just finished chapter two in the last video. And the last video was crazy because, you know, I kind of clickbaited the, the title. But, you know, we witnessed the kidnapping happening at um, Harfest at uh, Possum Springs. It was pretty crazy. So um, that's pretty much what's going on right now. We've witnessed the kidnapping. We've seen a dismembered arm. Um, you know, things are, things are getting a little crazy. Things are getting a little crazy here in Possum Springs. You feel me? So, um, let's just start our day. Let's start our day. See if we got any new messages from the homies. Looks like we do. What up, B? Hey, May. Thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be back at work cleaning up after last night, if you want to say hello. Hey, dude. Sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and hang out with um Greg today because we weren't able to hang out with Greg twice. We've hung out with B twice. We've only hung out with Greg one time. So we'll hang out with him the second time. For a second time. I wonder if the new working clock I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different, huge and spooky, making weird noises at night. The heck? Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Okay. Alright, sorry. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. What? You're just, like, the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Do, 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 we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Hold on, my frames are like... Something's going on with my frames. I don't know what it could be, but... I don't know if it's the, just the PC port of this game, but my frames are like bad in this game. I don't even know why my frames are bad. Like, that's absurd. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like, real-life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are in fact keeping it very close. Dude, what are we talking about? Like, it's like these dialogues like confuse me. Oh my god, the frames. Why are the frames bad? But those kind of dialogues confuse me. Like... And we can't even change up the... I don't even freaking know. Oh, shit. Yeah, those kind of dialogues confuse me. Like, what did she just say? You know, like, what did... Like, can someone explain to me what she was just talking about there? Like, I don't even know. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't ya? Alright, mom. What up? Hey, hon. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. Dot, dot, dot. I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed, too. 
Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later, I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also, later. So, what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of, of to a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. Damn. So, our parents went into debt, uh, sending us to college, and then we kind of effed up because we dropped out. What you're reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure. Not right now. Got a jet. We'll say sure. Alright, there's a man lying dead in the kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh? Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I, I don't know if there is. There is one answer. I don't know if there is one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? You should have been a detective. We'll, we'll just say you should have been a detective. Yeah, I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. Uh, what kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? Yeah, we'll say what else is in the room. Is there anything else? Normal stuff. Refrigerator, microwave, silver, silverware, knives. No knife wounds, though. Oh, right. Okay. Got us thinking a little bit. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. And then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. Haha, <laughs> that's why he has blood on one hand. Yup, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge, holding up a pick of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Okay, that was a weirdly written... Interactione. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Slice of life, baby. Slice of life. It's happening right here. Oh, we got a little drizzly drab day, eh? Are these guys still working? Oh my god, these a-holes are still working. Come on, guys. It's been weeks. It's been months. Hurry your ass up! Alright, usual suspects. Another day, another conversation with our home girl Selmers what up homie how's it going Selmers how was your Halloween weird went to Harfest saw some messed up shit that I think was real then had a really bad nightmare cool I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV Halloween episodes were on well I was out living a Halloween episode okay whoa yep want to hear a new poem Nah, maybe another time. Sure, let's hear it. Autumn winds, autumn sins, okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? What's considered an aut autumn crime? Robbing a gas station, then blowing it up in November. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, what? Alright, let's talk to her again. Hey, Mr. Chasikov. Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. 
I will make sure to fall right on you. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Alright, that's it for Selmers. That's it for Selmers. Let's bring it, let's bring it around town. Let's bring it back, bring it back around town. Let's, and let's talk to this crazy guy. One day he's gonna, he's gonna, um... <laughs> One day he's gonna, it's gonna, you know, he's gonna fire off on us. The missus varnished this por porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Oh, I'm gonna track mud all over it. Just cause he said that. Just cause you said that, my friend. Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Chaskov. Let's learn a little bit more lore about some of the, the deities of Possum Springs. Oh, we can climb up on this windowsill. That's a nice little easy uh, shortcut. Miss May Borowski, present. Mmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some stars? Yeah, come have a look. Dude, not this freaking bright light shit again. Dude, why is it always like this every time? Come on, man. This is your own fault. At this point, I would say. Oh, uh, this is your own fault. This is your own fault at this point, I would say. All right. Oh, let's, let me let me uh let me move this up a little bit. Somehow hiding a dialogue. Found one. Let's see. Oh, we got a little snake action. Carpe diem. You feel me? Big snake. Big snake. Yep. Anything else? I saw a big snake once. Oh, pause on that. Pause on that. <laughs> Let's see what let's see what she means by that though. At the zoo, in scouts we were hiking, and one was sunning itself on a rock. What a treat! I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them. The villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together, and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big. Snake. The hell? Alright, I guess it is what it is. I guess it is what it is. So that's what I don't like about this game. It just always teases you. It always just teasing you about like giving you lore and stuff. And then it says, oh no, we're going to just retract that. Or actually F you. We're not giving you the lore. You know? It's like, dude. So you can tell me the story. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. Sheesh, yeah, my guy got laid out. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy the medium. In life he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? Excuse me. That's just called being alive. How did, wait, what? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this option because I, I don't know what's going on. His own spirit possessed his body. That's like literally the same thing as being alive. <sighs> no, he was dead but possessed. By himself? Yes. Oh god, this is dumb. So, what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually start things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> this is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> willikers. Okay. Alright, Chazikov. Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple days. Short thing, Chazzy. Short thing, Chazzy Wazzy. Short thing. Maybe we'll finally be able to enter this into this door. Okay, just kidding. 
Oh, very foggy up here. Very, very foggy. Oh, uh, let's go deeper into Possum Springs. Let's go hang out with some people. Is there anything different that ever switches with this sign here? Oh, it looks like the um Harfest Festival sign is gone. Casey sign is still here, so he's still missing. And it looks like no one really cares too much. I'll explore everything here first. <clears throat> so, today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is? I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. And we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. So just some regular, just side talk. Um, it looks like this wolf lady um, is, you know, has a new job. She's moving out, and they're still trying to, you know, keep the relationship vibes going. Still trying to keep the relationship vibes going. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Okay. What up, B? I'm here, baby. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice today. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Oh, shit, my freaking camera's up here. Sorry. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Wait, what? It feels like more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, we don't have any interaction with B. It's band practice today. It's band practice today. So, potentially, the kidnapping that we saw last night could have been a delusion of May. Potentially, um... Her being maybe not mentally stable right now, and then she saw that happening. I don't know, or maybe she did, or maybe that it, it did happen. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Okay, that's it. That's about it. Is someone moving in? Oh, possibilities is gone. Probably something dumb. Or a pizza place. I miss you, pizza place. Or maybe that is it was possibilities. I don't know. Uh, let's talk to the Smelters fans up here. It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. I like that conversation. I like that one. That was pretty funny. So we can go inside and talk to Greg. We're going to talk to Greg last because I want to, uh, you know, explore everything first before we go ahead and, you know, continue with the main story. Oh, it's, um, what's this guy's name again? I forget. Hey, dude. Hey, you. Uh, working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Oh, he quit the, um, old pickaxe. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. 
What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. Jeez, that's unsanitary. Alright, whatever. I didn't hire him. I didn't hire him. It says the heart of Possum Springs, but it's closed. Here's Germ. Oh, what the hell? Why is Germ with the police? Yo, chill. Oh. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kid so I saw someone kidnap someone like a kid. What were you doing out here last night? No, we gotta just tell the truth. I'm snitching. I'm snitching immediately. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Hold on, hold on. Sorry guys, immersion broken a little bit. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting. This. This right here. This is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing... ...while carrying a teenager... ...who hasn't been reported as missing... Any theories, May? Da da da. No. They could have gone around the fence. We'll just say that. They could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. The fence goes out along the parking lots. Almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence. Urgh. I was running around half the night getting after teenage bullshit and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, you, err. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes, I, I, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night from the fence up to the old mine. We found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. Sheesh! The cop always dies! <laughs> Sheesh! So what did we see? So is May seeing ghosts? Is May having like delusions? Delusions of grandeur or whatever? Oh, and the police car is gone. Let's talk to Germ. Hey. Sup, kid. Sniff, sniff. You smell weird. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool, I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. Just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, uh, you gotta get out. Yeah, I, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Oh yeah, Germ's part of the band. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash crossover, hip-hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Oh yeah, I like that Doom shit, right? Da-da-da, Daruga. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. Totally. Da-da-da. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like a guy from the tracks. What? Okay, whatever. I gotta get going. What? What do you mean? What did you do? Wait, we gotta figure out more about this this guy. <clears throat> it was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude. 
take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill like 50 feet back but like I didn't want to look right at him ah uh, ah uh, okay what, what's the difference I, I don't know uh I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree it was getting dark but like I could see him just, just uh, standing just off the road <clears throat> waiting for me to come down oh my god holy shit we'll go oh my god what did you do after it got dark I climbed down and got up the hill real quick ah yeah it was a weird bad time ah I'm so upset right now hi <laughs> I know right see ya what <clears throat> and he's gone he just he just ran into the stairs See, why, like, I don't understand why May's responses were just, ah, ah, ah. Like, what, what does that even mean? I don't know what that even means. But alright, let's, um, we got a couple more places that we gotta check out before going to band practice. And then, um, yeah, we'll figure out what happens from there. It's gonna be pretty interesting, I feel. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Let's check out this, the, um... The little platform down here. Let's see if the goths are here. The vamps. Oh, the vamps are back! The Playboy Cardi Squad. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I thought I saw something. Okay, um. You should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out, and let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly, and you're safer than anyone else I know. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, okay. So we're just asking the vamps if they're good. Looks like they're gonna help us out. Oh, we got the uh, dog again. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. Time was they didn't... What? Was they didn't pay people in real money, paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school, they showed us some of those weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, the guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere and he slashes the boss's tires whoa <laughs> wow picks up a rock put it through the windshield then he climbs up I'm sorry this part is a bit rude holy shit don't stop he pees through the windshield hole this is amazing did they catch him no just me and a few other folks saw it I trot over to him and we run off down the alley past the AOK -okay drugstore Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars, fat, and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait. When was this? A very long time ago. Was he... Dot, 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 dot. So what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't stitches about that kind of... Th we weren't stitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. Heh <laughs> heh Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? Yes, no, we'll just say yes, right? Sometime, maybe. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is a part of your story now. Okay. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. Dot dot dot, I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Borowski. Okay. So our dad was a psycho- or our great-grandfather was a psychopath. And, uh, he slept with Miss Rosa? Holy. Dude was a freaking menace and a freaking horn dog. 
Jeez. So our grandfather was just like beefing with people out of nowhere? Like that's, I think that's what was said. I kind of forgot. I, I don't really understand. Mother. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on a Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends and th that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Can we ever go to this door? No. Maybe later. Maybe light, uh... Let's see if Mrs. K... Let's see if Pastor K is in here. Preaching to the town council, potentially. She gone. She gone. Let's see if Bruce and the emo kids are there, too. Maybe we could ask them if they know anything about the missing... If there was potentially a missing person happening yesterday. I like the piano in the background. It's very nice. Well, let me... Turn up the volume just a little bit. The music volume. Oh, it's uh, the pastor. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think... It's just wrong to take something. When folks don't want you to take it. Well... I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm... She wants him to steal something? That's because you're a good person. Squiggly marks. Hot dog. Man, this dude's got glizzies on his mind? Freaking glizzy globbler. Frick out of here, man. Dude on that freaking glizzy globlin. Hey, hey! Uh, hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night? Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. Duh. This just makes me sad you don't have a pizza place anymore. Got order from out by the highway now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south. And I had to keep up with the other gooses. Or I'd get lost. That's sad. Torrent a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Da da da. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where, where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Okay, that's it. So it was like, um... Pastor K was telling Bruce to, like, steal something? He refused. Okay, the emo kids aren't here. The emo kids are not here. Dude, I need to fix my sleeping schedule. Like, I wake up, I sleep for like four hours. I go to sleep at like three, wake up at like eight. And it's just not a good move. It's not a good move. I need to sleep earlier. And I get like tired. I, get, I take like a nap around like 6 p.m., wake up at like 8 p.m. It's like... My, my sleep schedule is all F, so this video might be a little bit short because I'm literally, like, so tired right now. I just need to, like, not be, like, playing. I need to not be, like, entertaining right now. I just need to, like, sleep. I don't know. So, I think that's it, though, guys. We explored, um, the whole entire, the left side of Possum Springs. We explored the little town center area here. And now the only thing left to do is to... Go have band practice. We're probably gonna like jam out with the song. Hopefully you guys are down. And we'll probably, hopefully, find something more about, you know, what's going on. Is something going on in, is something going on, is something, excuse me, is something strange going on in the town? Or is something strange happening to me? You know? We have these two, you know, 
clear directions where the game could go, but I, I just don't know which one it's gonna be. Greg! Sup, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Long night. Weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Just saying hello. We gonna head out to band practice? Well, we'll say just saying hello. Hello. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, okay. Let's go to band practice. We gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Alright, here we go. Let's get ready to play some Guitar Hero, baby. So we got Germ. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're all you're only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Ready to play? Yeah. Go convince Greg. He's all slow today. Me I'm feeling slow today. I'm feeling slow today. Hey dude. You okay? You look tired. I looked- I'm tired. I, I was up all night. Dude, literally, right as I'm talking about this, they're talking about- the characters in the game are talking about being tired. Sheesh. Uh, they were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs, uh, that goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down the, in the lobby up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building? Yeah, may maybe not, uh, but, but what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go. Yeah, let's do this shit. All right, let's go. Pumpkin head guy, let's go, baby. Sleepy Hollow vibes. Holy crap, this is kind of hard. Oh, I'm getting... I'm, like, pretty good at this, though. Oh shit, he goofed up. Do, do, do. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. I wish I could, like, read the lyrics, but I can't even read the lyrics, really. Like, trying to focus on the score. Or doing well on the Guitar Hero. Shit. Oh, what the heck is this? Eh, that was hard. I, I don't know. Fuck, what the hell is this? Holy, that was a solo. Shit. Yo, that was a solo. Holy crap, that was a bass solo right there. Surprisingly, I hit I I hit a good amount of them, I feel like. Wow, mate, that was a uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Woof! So fast. You just pushed a button. Dot dot dot. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. Anyway, I don't know if there are dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid. And also I think he was in my head after while I was sleeping. Anyway, yeah, I, I think I need to do something because this is scary. So we basically just confess to our friends about everything that's going on. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Yeah. No? We'll just say yeah. I'm not, like, losing it or something. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll go figure this out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Oh, dudes. Oh, dudes. Like, who says that? Like, like the dialogue, some of it is just, like, something that people don't even say in real life. No one goes, Oh, dudes. Like, I don't know. It, it's fine. I'm just roasting it. It's The dialogue's okay, but some of the dialogue choices are a little bit questionable. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghostly stuff ha- uh, Some ghostly s 
ghosty stuff happening around here? Like from a source we can trust? Such as does the new paste newspaper have a have a have like a ghost section? What? Why why is that a why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it? No, they have the local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just a like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at a library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they, they set up a foundation and dot dot dot. Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Um, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. Okay, so we're going to the library now. So yeah, we're going to the library. I guess we're just having a little solo dolo sesh with B. I guess so. So we're going to learn potentially about maybe there's a ghost happening in ghost activity in Possum Springs. Look, jobs. Weird, like when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals. After someone gets shot or hit by a car, this mural is really affecting you. I, I forgot that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Can we leave? No. Okay, so here we are. We're in the library. Let's go talk to this little pink panther lady. Pink bear. Hey! Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfiche? Microfiche? Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here, all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. We got Larry, another librarian. Larry the librarian. It's got a nice little ring to it. Oh, we gotta go. Dang, this library's got an elevator in this shit? Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna lie. The library that I. that, um. my local library has an elevator in that shit, too. I'm not gonna lie. That's nice, though. Okay, we're just checking out the vibes. Look, look looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see, experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You, you gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Um, maybe. If it means everyone gets rich. Holy crap! What? It's Charity Verity! What's Charity Verity? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, I had a sneeze. Uh, how do you not know Charity Verity? I assume this is something from a school? The school of being five freaking years old? Alright, so this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Verity. It, it does look really hateable. It was like you were kidnapped by a cult, you were under some curse. We'll just go, you were under some curse. Where a cute thing followed you around 24-7, yelling about like sharing and not littering and paying taxes. Well, that's an important uh, skill. God, dude, I have a huge wedgie too. Like everything's just going wrong right now. I'm tired, I got a wedgie, I'm sneezing, I'm coughing. Uh, I was five. I'm 20 now and I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Uh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity. Oh no, austerity. What's that? Reason the two bridges in the in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't go like to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, danger everywhere. -ity. That's vague and disconcerting. Disconcerting? Could have just kept updating that one book. What? Wait, this isn't even the right floor. What the hell?
This was the second floor? I thought this was the third one. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we gotta go up. Oh, we can go up or down, I see. Okay. So this should be it. Third floor. Sniff, sniff. Oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost or something. Whatever he was, he walked through a chain link fence or flew over it or something while carrying something. Oh, right, well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. What? Why you gotta ruin the mood like that, May? Why you gotta ruin the mood like that? Oh, someone was looking up the hub right here. Got your ass. Alright, there she is. Goo. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I, I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea was to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aw. Uh. Oh, we what see like what is this dial what is this dialogue? Come on. Oh, we friends be a twist. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Oh, look at this guy. This is interesting. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. Da da da. I'm sorry. Da da da. Okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Hold on. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Okay, so I think that's it. The Stanley T. Possum statue. Hmm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Okay. Strike, a staffer might as well call the idea... No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. Dot dot dot. Local ghost. Here we go. Little Joe. I think we found it. Oh, look. Scooch so I could see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in, in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. Dot dot dot. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Haha. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. What? No ghost here. No ghost here. Albino groundhog? That's not a ghost. This one? No ghost. Okay, no ghost. Spectral happenings at Possum Drum. Here we go. Hey, look at this! Hmm, yeah, looks like Possum Jump? Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. It's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Oh, wow, Mrs. Miranda's, okay. Back up in the hills, all kinds of stuff up there. We'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Okay, we got some more ghost things. Ghostly rumors, got another one. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical, uh, historical society? History that won't stay history in a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You don't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident? Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Uh, new historical society? 
It's an old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and craft programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's, like, three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah, uh, no, let's look at more stuff. Yeah, let's look at more stuff. Let's see if there's any other ghost stuff. No ghost here. Oh, this is probably for the mine explosion. So there's some sort of, like, mine explosion. Strange but true. Oh, wow, this is gnarly and awesome. Haha. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. No ghost here. How do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? Oh, we just press escape. What the heck? So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Dot dot dot. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever heard, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Alright, May is cooked. We need a thumbnail. Oh, the, the librarian's gone. Oh, it's Selmer's. Ahem! What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. She made it work. She was like some sort of art survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Saltstown. There you go. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting to move my camera. Oh, actually, no, this is a good spot because we're not covering the third guy. Um, this is good. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Nah, yeah, we'll just stick around for it. Tonight we have new poems from myself. And Fisherman Jones. And Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from some big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? Dot dot dot. Yes, May, they literally pay her in string. I was just joking, right? Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories. I tell friends back home <laughs> when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you, I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Wait, what? Is this like a confession or is this a poem? Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? Poor Miss Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems! Take it away. Uh, hi folks, thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels, I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged 
so it hardly is your place to judge, da da da. Okay, that, that's one poem, the next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs, with tunnel eels, tunnel frogs. Tunnel frogs swims in the dark, must think it would be a lark. To be a fisherman like me, but what do you know, amphibie? Da da da, that's it. That's great, thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish think. He definitely talks to the actual fish. We'll say dude is really worried about what fish thinks. That tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called... There's no reception in Possum Springs. Haha. <laughs> She's not wrong. Ahem. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever was. World where house buying, jobs became rent paying, jobs became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires, money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die, lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours, force 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the yard and they're in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn down their Silicon City to the ground. What the hell? Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh, she rhymed entrepreneur. I didn't I don't even know what that word means. Thanks everyone. Hold on, let me make sure I'm in focus. Okay. Oh, hold on, guys. Let me put my camera back down. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Uh-huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it herself? Nice work, Sel Selmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Poets of Possum Springs. Oh, well, look at this. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so. Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Oh, we did? Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. I, like, filled with... Like, filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up? Share custody of you and your ghost? What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Dot dot dot. Sure is, the historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum jump! Exclamation point. I know possum jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and, and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm, I'm scared to death. Okay. Okay, wow, a lengthy episode here. Let's finish, let's close this out with the little um Garbo and Malloy, erg. Yeah, it seems like that's going around, the erg. Yepers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah, I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. We'll just say we are. Just a bump. 
You two always, you two always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. I got your chill and her smart assness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine, we're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay, I'm 20, I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Okay, no Garbo and Malloy. And then no mom here. So we're just gonna go up to bed. Let's see if we got anything new here. Nothing new, nothing new. Alright, I think it's time to go to sleep. And it's time for my ass to take a quick little power nap too. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. We got three new messages. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? LOL. B, I mean, Greg? Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something? Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. And this is Angus? Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight up, uh, it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Okay, uh, my ass is going to sleep, too. My ass is going to sleep, too. My ass is going to sleep, too. Yes. So there we do. There we have it. We had um um. Our, we got our first night uh on ch in chapter three. Mm. That was dope. That was dope. Um, like I said, you know the writing it just turns me off sometimes. Oh frick, we gotta do the dream. Okay, we're not done with it yet, dude. Why do we keep having these freaking dreams, man? Can someone explain this ish to me? Jeez. Like, what do these dreams mean? You know, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to know. What was a fish there? Here we go, saxophonist. What happens when we jump all the way down here? Let's see where this is. Oh, it looks like we're at the end of the end of the map right there. Okay. Seeing like a silhouettes of people, and there's like this uh, new things like this fish right here that's new. So strange things are like different things are entering into our dream, which is pretty cool. I guess I could talk about this episode just a little bit, but yeah, like I said, like this episode was cool. Like I just wish that they really improved on the writing because the writing just seems it's just very like boring sometimes and it's very unnatural, very unnatural writing. Like I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't feel like you know, someone who's real is saying this. It feels like it's like so fake, you know? Or not not fake, but just like, it's just not really written too well. It just feels like a, a child wrote this stuff respectfully, you know? Um, I think that's one of the big things that they could have improved on for this game was to um, improve the writing. Because May is a little bit insufferable. Like, she's kind of annoying to listen to, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
And like some of the things she says is just like not right, you know? It just doesn't even make sense. You know, I don't know. And like the, you know, like the dark humor doesn't really hit too hard. Like the mom being like joking with her daughter about murder and like I don't know like I said I think we have to just wait till the game ends but even though even like I could still make a decision though like just letting you guys like I could still make a decision you know about the dialogue because like man what we've been experiencing so far has been pretty lackluster I'm not gonna lie I think this was the end, right? Yeah, let's go. I think we got all of them. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's see what happens. So we got a fish now. We got oh no, we got a bird. So yeah, a bunch of like animal, giant animals have been like visiting us in our dreams. There was the bear. We got this uh, swan here. We had the crocodile. Um, a lot of a lot of animals are just like visiting us and shit. Wait, hold on. Okay. Um, it's very interesting, but no answers to anything. I'm assuming that um, tomorrow, well, today technically, we're gonna be finding a lot of answers because we're gonna be going to the graveyard. We're going to the historical society, and then we're we're gonna be going to Possum Jump to you know figure out you know what's been going on. If there even is something going on, or if it's in May's head, um, because we also had that little interaction earlier today with our aunt. Uh, I forgot her her name, but our aunt telling us basically, you know, any sort of person that we might have seen probably wasn't, you know, probably was like in our head or something like that, because our aunt didn't see anyone and she explored the whole entire uh, forest that night. Um, but there might be a little, there might be something that she's not, you know, she hasn't caught on to yet. So we're going to uh, hopefully find that out tomorrow if there is something like that. But yeah, like I said, I want to I want to reiterate this again. Like the dialogue in this game just feels like there's first of all they're saying way too much and it's just it's just like it feels like I'm reading word vomit, you know? It feels like I'm re reading word vomit. A lot of the dialogues you know, lead nowhere. Um, so many times, characters just back up their words by just saying "just because" or "just believe me" or you know, you know, just trust me, right? And there's not really a lack of ex. There's not really a um, or there is a lack of explanation for these things. But for some reason, they could fit in a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo about May talking about like you know. Like, whatever she's talking about. Like, just some stupid stuff, you know? Um, so that's one big problem I have with this game. Um, and, and it really does take away from the game. Because, like... I feel like... Things should... Only important things should be said. And obviously, if you're trying to create, like, a slice of life game, you know... The, the, the you know, the small, minute things matter, right? And I think that's, you know, very important. But I think... Like, I just want to say, like, I want to reiterate it again, like, only important things should really be said, you know? Like, there's so much just random stuff going on in this game that has nothing to do with the story, that has nothing to do with our character development. It's just, like, two people having a conversation, and that's cool, but, you know, there is something going on in this game that the player has to solve, and it just feels like we're... These conversations are just like pointless with people, you know, because we're three chapters in guys and I still don't know what the point of this game is, you know, where I'm three chapters in and I don't even understand what is the purpose of this game. The only thing that I could think of is, is that we're just, I'm just playing a slice of life game, but apparently there's a mystery and obviously we're going to figure out what the purpose of this game once we beat it, but up until chapter 3, I don't really know what we're really doing. It's kind of like I said, and I'm sorry to be repeating myself, but just a slice of life game. And nothing wrong with that, but it's just like, I think they they leaned into that section a little bit too much. And leaned a little bit too much into like, 
that showing off that immature writing from or Im immaturity from our characters through the writing and it doesn't work too well with no voice acting and just having to read it because having to read somebody's just like stupid thoughts in their head is just like it, it's kind of a turn off but I know I'm tall I know I'm saying my you know bad things but I still think this game is still really solid it's still good it's just that's my only issue but I had to bring that up because like I'm playing this game and I'm like dude like what am I reading like there's so many times where I question myself like did that even make sense what I just read what does that mean like what am I reading um but yeah, I'm going to stop this end rant, guys. If you guys are still watching, love and appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I almost fell asleep during this video because of how trash the dialogue was and how slow-paced it was. Um, but if you guys are still enjoying this game, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I still am enjoying this game. Like, don't get me wrong. The dialogue, although very, very faulty, faulty um, it is definitely has its own charm to it for sure. I will give it that, but the charm doesn't, it, it, charm can't carry it that far. You know, it can't carry it to the ends of the, and fi the finish line, you know, but, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I still like this game. It's cool. Uh, I can't wait to beat it. Uh, more night in the woods coming tomorrow. And then after that, guys, we're going to be playing Fears of Fathom. So I'll see you guys. Uh, on the channel here, guys, the grind's not stopping, guys. I'm literally just... I already... I bought, like, seven games, dude. I just bought seven games for the spring Steam sale. So it's about to go down, guys, all right? It's about to flip and go down, all right? So thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'm out. Peace!